I've been making websites for quite some time now. And if there's one thing I learned from it, it's that making websites is not easy. Hi, I'm Maliki, and I'm going to tell you the story of my freelance web developer journey. It all started back in 2020, early 2020. I was a young boy with as much energy as a nuclear power plant. In my spare time, apart from being broke of course, I like to make games and make YouTube videos about those games. One notable game that I made was called Bidampede. I chose a fantastic name, I know, and that's probably the reason it only got 20 downloads. Either that or the game was bad, I'm not sure. My YouTube channel and my games never took off, and I did not push through the pain and keep going. No, I stopped in my tracks and fell like a rock. After this, I wanted to try and freelance as a web developer. I started learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I made my own personal website for attracting clients and showing them my projects. And I did everything in my power to get clients. Now you'd probably know the story. No clients were gotten. My first web dev client came about quite weirdly. Usually your first client may come from a friend or a family member, but not mine. A few months after giving up game dev, a guy DM'd me on Discord and he asked me to build him a website. He wanted an e-com store and I had no clue how I was going to make the website that he wanted. But I told the guy, yeah, I'll build it for the right price. I quoted him $2,000 really, really not expecting him to agree to this. He agreed. No interview needed, no past projects required, no negotiation. For the next few months, I spent my free time building the website. It mightn't have been possible without Ruby on Rails the web framework I learned to create the site. Without it, it probably would have taken me a lot longer. For the most part, I enjoyed making the website, even though I had constant errors because I was a beginner. I didn't know how to do anything by myself. I had to look at tutorials for literally everything, or copy code from Stack Overflow. But little by little, I learned. Eventually, after watching many courses on Ruby on Rails, I built the website to the standard my client wanted, and $2,000 was mine. After my first client, I started to get hungry for more clients. Soon I got my second, third, and fourth client. Funnily enough, one of them came from a family friend, one of them from Fiverr, and one from a job posting online. Because I had basic knowledge of web development now, these projects went by a lot quicker. I used Ruby on Rails for just one of them, WordPress for another, and basic HTML and CSS for the third. In total, I made 2.5k for these three websites combined. More clients were gotten after this. Some of them came from word of mouth, and some clients I already had previously. All in all, developing websites is hard, but I like it a lot, so the work is fine. But keep in mind, when I talk about doing web dev, I'm only talking about a few hours a day of work. No 9 to 5 stuff, because you can choose your own hours. I don't work abroad, but it's cool to have the option.